Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, we have learned how we can create our filters. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create our edit page so the user can edit the product. So let's go to our VS Code. So first of all, let's go to our products component by going to our resources, JS, pages, and products, then index.js. In here, if I scroll down, I have already have a link for my edit button with the products edit slash product id so let's go to our web.php and create this link so let's go to our routes web.php and in here let's create a new route with the type of gate and give it a url of edit and also i want to send the id so i will type slash id and after that we have to type the method name in the in our controller so i will create a new method with the name of edit so let's go copy this and let's go to our products controller in here let's scroll down after my create i will create a new method by typing public function edit and i, I will add id as a parameter now i will create a new variable with the name of product and set it to my products model and i will call find or fill method and pass id as a parameter in here then i will return inertia component by typing return inertia and inside inertia method i will pass the path of my component the one which i want to display so in this case it will be product slash edit then after that we have to pass our products in here so i will type compact and send my product as a parameter now let's go and create our edit component so let's go to our re resources components products and in here let's create a new file with the name of edit.jsx enter now let's create our react default functions by typing rxc and enter now let's add our default parameters one would be odd and another would will be pro that after this uh, i'm going to copy everything from add.jsx because everything inside edit is same as add.jsx uh, except some small difference so i'm going to copy everything from add so let's uh, copy everything from cons up to the end copy from here and paste it replace this then let's uh, um, copy our imports also let's copy this also and paste it here now inside our data we have to change our name to product dot name and buying price to product dot buying price same for selling price so i will type product dot selling price i also need the id in the edit part so in here i will add a new key with the name of id and set it to product dot id now let's change our title also from add product to edit product and here also our header from add new product to edit product then the last thing that we will do in here is to change our route by changing the create to update now let's go to our browser and click edit in here so we got our data but our image is not displaying so let's go and display our image as well so let's go back to our base code and scroll down before the submit button or let's add it here before the input type file let's create a new div with a call metric class name and inside here we will add our image tag then inside here let's call the source attribute and set it to slash uh, let's go back to folders then we will go to our storage and in, after that we will add the product.image which we will store inside our database then after that i will set the style and give it a weight of 240 pixel now let's save everything let's go back to our browser as you guys can see i got my image now let's go and create our 
update route and our controller so let's go back to our base code and first of all inside my web.php in here let's create a new route with the type of post and give it a url of update then we will redirect it to update method of our products controller and we can also give him a name of products dot update so let's save our web.php in here and let's go inside our products controller and create our method by typing public function update and set it to request dollar sign request then in here let's create a variable with the name of item and set it to our products model then we will use where condition and we will search by id which we will get from the request and we will fetch the first one then after that i will say item name is equal to request name and same thing for buying price and selling price item selling price is equal to request selling price then i will create a condition f condition and check for the image so i will type f request has image and in here because we are sending the image so i will type in here and if request image is not equal to null then in that case i will create a new variable with the name of image pad and set it to the request image then i will store it inside my storage folder inside products folder and public folder then i will set the items image to image pad then at the end of my if condition i will say item dot update to update my record and at the end i will redirect the user back to products with a success message message of products edited successfully so let's save everything from here and let's go to our browser let's update this by typing one two three and click save okay as you guys can see i my product has been updated but there is a, a small problem that we have not set any validations yet for example if i clear this and this one also click save i got an error so let's uh, add our validations also so let's go and create a new form request let's uh, type in here php artisan make request products update request okay it has been created now let's go to our request products update request let's change this to true and let's copy everything from our products request and paste it in here now let's go to back to our products controller and in the state of request in the parameter let's change it to products update request now let's go back and click save as you guys can see i got my validations also so let's type here some data also let's click save yeah it has been updated now if i want to change the image i can also change the image let's select this and click save okay as you guys can see the image the name buying price and selling price everything has been changed so this is it for the video see you guys in the next video